Hey, what's going on? Back here with another video. Welcome back to the channel. If, the, if you are back here, hit that like button. So let me just jump into very short video about a topic I had discussed with someone a couple of days ago. They were telling me, oh, Mikey, you know, you always talking about the law of assumption and the wish fulfilled and living in the end desire. And I find that that is very difficult to achieve. And it's very hard for someone like me to begin doing that. And I just told them, you know, it's interesting that you say that, but really you doing it all the time. People are living in some form of assumption all the time and they're getting the results from those assumptions. And another way I put it to them was you assumed once you heard what I said, you already assumed that you don't understand what I'm talking about. So you put yourself automatically, you put yourself into the wish fulfilled. Your wish being, I don't understand what he's talking about. That was the feeling. And so even if they try to attempt to do it, they would get the results of what they are. Because you get what you are. You don't get what you wish for or what you want. And I'll give you another example of this was that a couple of years ago, about three, maybe four years ago, one of my favorite artists was coming to South Africa. And I got told about it about six months before it even happened. But I remember as I got told, oh, this person is coming to South Africa. It's going to be awesome. We should go. I remember not even five seconds later, immediately I had this feeling over my body. Because remember, feeling is the secret. I had this feeling of fear and lack over my body. And immediately I thought, I don't think I'm going to have money to be able to go to that. So my conscious mind and the subconscious mind came together working as one. That was what I was going to manifest into my reality. Because I'd already impressed that idea that I have nothing to be able to afford to go to this concert. Three weeks later, I decided, you know what? No, I'm going to go to this concert. And I did some visualizations and things of actually being there, of actually when I went to bed, it was interesting, when I went to bed, I would close my eyes and almost fall asleep in the Airbnb and know that, okay, we, uh, tomorrow's the concert, I'm here, I've set up. You know, you get that feeling of unpacking your bags, just really staying in that wish fulfilled and... This is before I even knew anything about Neville Goddard and things. I just always knew that there are ways to do this through manifestation. And six months later, got on a plane for the first time, flew over, stayed there, watched the concert and flew back. So that's what they say. I think it was uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson who says, if you see something in your mind, the universe will conspire to give it to you. You know, I know I'm paraphrasing that. I butchered that. But so think about how intense that is. I wasn't even sure of how I was going to get there, but I assumed I'm going to get there. In my head, I thought probably going to be driving up there, you know, about a five hour drive. And then the next thing you know, plane tickets flying over and flying back, first time I'd ever flown on a plane just to get to the concert. So that was kind of the first time I actually utilized the power for myself, but it was not the last. So this is what I'm saying. You have, to, you have the power to decide whatever you want to think. But the problem with people is when it comes to any sort of situation, something arises. Now they only look at their 3D space around them for answers. And they start thinking those things. Maybe it's lack. Maybe it's money. Maybe they have to get someone a gift that's close to Christmas. So immediately they start assuming, oh, you know, I... I don't have money to buy gifts and they feel that fear inside of lack and then they say ah, you know what um, I'm not going to think about that right now instead of thinking about what is the only thing that you can really control in those situations that is your your thoughts and how you feel about them you can immediately just 
erase that, revise those things that you were thinking and think, if I could think anything I wanted in the world, let me think of something the opposite of what I'm thinking, which is, you know what? Some way or another, I'm going to be buying gifts and I can see the look on the people's faces when they're opening my gifts and I'm standing there and I'm proud and I'm happy because, wow, this is what I did. And it's the best gift they could have ever received and they didn't think I had it in me to give it to them. And bam, and let it go. And when you, that's what they mean by you get what you are, not what you want. So if you are confident, if you have that assurance, like, this is done. I don't know, it's not up to me to decide how it's done, but I assume that this is already done, this is how I feel, this is the mental image. And remain faithful to that assumption. Some way or another, you will get it. So, just to wrap it up, that's the point of what I'm saying. You already have assumptions about everything around you. So the next time something happens and you tell yourself, Ah, I don't think I can. Really stop yourself and think, are you even giving yourself the chance to assume something better might happen? Or are you dealing with the old programming of who you have been this whole time that's given you the results of where you are today? And you're just automatically going on that assumption. Really revise your thoughts. Really revise how you feel about things. And I guarantee you, if you just start with small things, you'll be able to build up and magic will actually happen. And you'll just smile ear to ear because you'll be like, wow, I've had this the whole time. And yeah, I just thought life was happening to me. And I had nothing to do with it. So that's going to be the video from me today. Just remember, you're always assuming something. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Share this with anybody who needs to hear this. I wish someone would have shared something like this with me back then. And if you like this type of content, subscribe. Um, you know, I'm always here. I'm doing this and I'm out. Peace.